What is feminine? What is masculine? By looking at this picture you might comprehend something, but let me tell you, that thought is wrong. By the end of the video you will know why I said that, so pay attention now. See, you need to understand this. Human understanding comes from a certain perception, a limited perception. When I say limited perception, right now, your whole perception comes through your sense perception. Sense organs can perceive something only if there is something to compare with. For example right now, you know silence only because there is sound. And you know sound only because there's silence, isn't it? So, this is the nature of sense perception. Whether it's your eyes or your ears or your smell or your taste or your touch, everything is only by comparison. So, the moment you perceive through sense organs, you already divided the existence. Because without divisions you cannot perceive, without two there is no logic, so you need two. So, these two fundamental principles, because we are human, we are a species with man-woman, masculine-feminine, so we are calling them masculine and feminine. But these are basically Shakti, which means energy though people misinterpret it as power, but it's energy. Unfortunately, because of various civilizational and exploitative situations in the human societies, we are thinking of energy as power and power as dominance. No, energy is just energy, and without energy nothing happens. See, one thing if I say, the feminine is at huge risk on the planet. So, immediately, people may think, oh, that's because of the man. Maybe man instigated it, but when I say masculine and feminine, we're not talking about male, female. We're talking about those two aspects, those two dimensions of life, without which our life will not be beautiful. Our life cannot work actually, even in the most fundamental way, but because people start thinking in terms of dominance, this is a problem. If you're not looking at life as dominance, if you're looking at life as integration, if you're looking at life as cooperation, if you're looking at life as oneness, then without these two dimensions, there is no existence. But unfortunately, societies have taken on to this, as to who is dominating right now, whether masculine or feminine. If any one of them dominates, it'll turn ugly. It is not that if masculine dominates it will turn ugly, or if feminine dominates it will turn ugly. If any one of them dominates it will turn ugly. Above all, if you start thinking in terms of dominance, your life will turn ugly. By domination, you will not know life, only by inclusion, you will know life. See, we need to understand this, economics is being glorified as if it's some kind of a divine thing. Economics essentially means survival, survival process. Now we are shifting this thing to a different level in the society. We need to understand, it's shifting in the sense, it's not just about women seeking a career. What is happening is that masculine ideals are becoming the most important ideals. So a systematic obliteration of the feminine has happened today because the world is driven by the economic engine. When you say economy is the only important thing on the planet, that means survival process is being put into a divine position. Today, there is very little role for the feminine, even if a woman comes out, she has to act like a man, then only she is successful. If she acts like a woman, is considered weak, feminine is not weak, it's just fulfilling a different aspect of life. Once the economic engine is what that's driving the world, then masculine is bound to be dominant, and in this system, women will suffer. I think a lot of women are going through this, and some of them are trying to find a balance between the two. It is not because they are pursuing a career. This is happening because survival process has become the highest ideal, which is the wrong way to structure a society. If, in these societies, love, art, music, above all, aesthetics of life, was dominant in a society, 
If aesthetics was as important as economics, nobody had to bring up the feminine. Feminine would be naturally exuberantly alive and manifest in the society. See, feminine has always been a very fiery form of energy. Here we are creating a woman who is fiery and powerful in a completely different way. Let me explain you in a different manner. As an explanatory example, love, art, aesthetics, we may use those three words as part of the feminine energy. Both male and female have those aspects, thus we can assume that we have all three in ourselves, so that's our feminine energy. If you do not have the feminine, you won't look in, think in terms of what's beautiful, what's not beautiful. You'll only think in terms of what's useful and what's not useful. You will become utilitarian, the masculine is like that. So, you being a man or a woman has nothing to do with it. See, that's the whole thing. These two energies are the basis of creation, they are not a thing to be in conflict, they're in absolute collaboration. It is only in human mind that it's in conflict. In life, it's not in conflict. In energy, it's not in conflict. Only in mind it's in conflict because mind divides. The nature of the feminine, that it's all-embracing, not all-conquering, you must understand. Man wants to be in conquest. A woman wants to embrace. By conquest, you will never have it. By embrace, you will have it. Isn't it? But let me tell you, both aspects have equal role in balancing life. Like let me give you an example. When a sculpture designs an idol, they need gentle hands to do what they're doing. They are now in a point where the work is almost feminine. But before that, this rock was in the quarry. There, you needed some hard tools to cut it, make it a big piece, transport it on the truck, bring it in, hold it there, cut it down to size. All that was very masculine. If that masculine work had not happened, this feminine part would be not possible. On the other hand, masculine is a power, is a wrong perception, and that wrong perception has seeped into society. Without the ambience of the feminine, masculine will feel meaningless. So unless our values change, our minds can't grow beyond survival process. If spirituality became the most significant part of a society, you would see feminine would be more dominant than masculine. Unless the masculine and feminine play equal proportions on the planet, you will not see a beautiful life happening. Thanks for watching. If you got some value, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.